Hello everyone, today I want to talk about some of the bearing issues I had with this printer when I initially got it. What I noticed was on the y-axis that this was making an incredible grinding sound. It, the bearing sounded very crunchy and I did not like it. So I ended up pulling them out and I packed them with white lithium grease. And I thought, wow, okay, great. It sounds, you know, substantially better. It wasn't perfect, but it was better. But then what I noticed was that these were losing bearings. During the repacking process, the bearings were falling out. And then what I noticed was that this, on a couple of them, this little black ring, retaining ring here, fell out. So that was an issue. So at that point, I was like, okay, what are my alternatives? Well, they're the Mitsumi uh, LM8UU bearings. They cost about, oh, I don't know, uh, $13 or $14 a piece, and I think there's 11 of them in here. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. Now, it's kind of expensive and, you know, um, a little out of my budget for a budget printer. So my other option was I could print them. Here's an example. This one is a uh, made from Black PLA Plus. And I got this uh, design off of uh, Thingiverse. And the option that I'm using, which I really like, are these Dryland bearings. These are the, I think, the RJ4JP bearings. And they're by Dryland, the Igus Dryland. These are great. These are the ones I'm using right now. And I was able to get like, I think like 12 of them or something for like $15 on Amazon. Self-lubricating. They, they feel pretty good. And it's very smooth when they move back and forth. You'll hear the motor, but you won't hear, you don't hear the bearings anymore. You don't hear the crunch sound. It's just the little motor. This is great. Um, I've had no issues with these. I probably have about 500 hours of print time with them. Not an issue. They, uh pretty uh, tight I enjoy them and uh, I may eventually replace the the carriage with them with these dryland bearings but as of right now I don't need to um, but this is just an alternative option I know a lot of people would ask me is like hey how do you like these bearings and I'm like well actually they work pretty good and for like $15 self lubricating high heat it's a great option I also think the PLA Plus may be okay, or maybe if you print this, might, I might have printed this in PETG actually, I can't remember, um, but uh, you know, the bed puts off a lot of heat and you have to ask yourself, okay, will, will these printed bearings last, you know, um, the temperatures, especially if your bed isn't insulated. Now you can buy the material to print these out from uh, Dryland and they, they do sell it. So if you wanted to print your own or if you had some customized stuff, that, that's definitely an option for you if you so choose. But for me, it was just easier to buy them off Amazon. And I hope this helped or, you know, at least answered some of people's questions about what do you think of the dryland bearings and are they any good? Yes, not bad. And especially for the price, they're, they're much better and much quieter than the bearings that came with it. And I will say that I did buy uh, a series of... Uh, uh, knockoff bearings um, on Amazon for like 20 bucks. I got a, a box of them and I say they were probably just as loud as these if not louder. So if you are going to replace, replace these LM8UU bearings, I would say probably just go with the Misumi bearings if it's that important to you. Otherwise, right here. Anyways, thanks. Have a good one.